Welcome back. Well, we all know tennis is huge in the Lowcountry, and Annalise Itcourt brings us highlights from this year's much-anticipated Colleton River Bridge Bowl. Let's take a look. Thanks, guys. I'm here today at beautiful Collison River. My name is Annalisa Itkor, and I'm very excited to get down and find out what is happening at the 2019 Bridge Bowl. Follow me. Here we are at the 2019 Bridge Bowl, and let me tell you, the tennis today has been phenomenal. This is one of the most exciting tennis events we have on the island. It is island versus mainland, and joining me today are the real reasons behind this tournament. They're the beneficiaries. We have Kimberly Hall. She is with Bluffton Self-Help, as well as Sandy Gillis, who is with the Deep Well Project, and we do have the captains, Jonathan Watkins and Jennifer Whitmer, representing island and mainland. Now, first and foremost, Kim, can you tell me, what does this event mean in terms of these two organizations? Yeah, well, it's so much fun when we can have a friendly competition like this um, to bring our entire community together to really do what's important and give back to those who need us most. Now, as we head into the holiday season, which is right around the corner, what do your organizations need first and foremost from our community? Well, ironically, even though Hurricane Dorian didn't hit us directly, we had a lot of our folks who live paycheck to paycheck who did lose a week's worth of of income going into the slower time in the season. So this event could not come at a better time to help with those challenges. And then going into the holidays when we're trying to do special things like holiday meals and toy shops for kids that may not have a great Christmas unless we can help them. It's just awesome. All right. Now, I know this isn't a very fair question, but Kim, who are you rooting for? Yep, mainland all the way. And Sandy? Go Island. And I don't need to ask who y'all are rooting for. And there's still a lot. Uh, there you go. Still a lot of tennis to be played and a lot of fun to be had. So here we are at beautiful Colleton River, and we are enjoying these wonderful tennis courts. And joining me is Mike O'Regan. He is the director of racket sports here in Colleton River. Now, you guys have been hosting this for three years. Tell us what your experience has been hosting the Bridge Bowl. Uh, we love doing it every year. Uh, it's, a, it's a great event to showcase our tennis facility, number one. And, uh, you know, it's just great to see people come out here and compete and have a great time. And it's all, all for a good cause. Now, anyone who is here today is going to really see an amazing amount of fantastic tennis being played big crowds watching. Do you feel that the tennis community in the area is growing health-wise? I think it's growing or, I mean, it's maintaining its status. Uh, you know, pickleball's out there right now and uh, it's not a sport we compete with. We're actually, you know, kind of work in conjunction with time to time, but uh, uh, tennis is healthy and, you know, it's it's a sport, especially in a, in a gated community where People just assume golf is the only thing. It's, it's, it's definitely a very strong part. All right. So tennis rising here in the low country. What is the best way to get involved with this sport, Mike? Uh, if you live in a gated community, talk to your, your, your local director. Uh, uh, if you don't live in a gated community, uh, talk to somebody that does play tennis, and they'll hook you up with a pro. We've got a great bunch of pros uh, on the island, good camaraderie. Um, so if you want to play, we'll help you out. Pretty much as simple as picking up a racket and stepping on the court, right? Step. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get back to the action here at the 2019 Bridge Bowl. Back to you.